Hi guys! Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 5600 XT The new model from AMD after the somewhat disappointing 5500 XT This one is based on the Navi 10 GPU that was used in the 5700 and 5700 XT The difference is that it has lost part of its memory bus and part of its RAM and of course a lower clock speed so we have a 192 bit bus with 6 GB of GDDR6 memory at 1200 gigabits per second the official clock speed is maximum boost of 1560 MHz with game clock of 1375 MHz this here is overclocked model and it has three heat pipes a lot of fins and two rather large fans with one, two, three display ports and an HDMI and most importantly do BIOS BIOS firmware whatever so what is special about it? well one of the BIOSes is the so called silent BIOS which uses the default maximum boost clock of the model however the gain clock is announced as 1460 MHz that is slightly above the basic spec and the TDP is just 135 watts officially the 5600 XT has 150 watts TDP the second BIOS however and here the things start to be a little bit strange because this one is a review sample that was sampled for uh, several publications in our area and we got to use it for a bit but while testing we got notification from AMD that there is a new faster overclocking BIOS so the old BIOS was I think 1620 MHz max boost with 1560 game clock the new BIOS is 1750 MHz with 1640 game clock as you can see quite a big overclock and also with the new BIOS the memory clock goes to 14 gigabits per second and the TDB rises to 160 watts so what to do? in the end we tested both the silent and the overclock BIOS a little bit about the card it has a nice backplate and the backplate in fact contacts with at least the VRM so it's not entirely only for fashion purposes and now we are going to compare it to a bunch of other cards of course the obvious choices from the NVIDIA side are 2016 which got a nice price cut recently to $299 from $349 the so popular at the moment 1660 Super which is again 192 bit bus with 6 GB of memory and it is priced at 229 on AMD side we have 5700 which is the higher model from this one which has the same GPU configuration with 36 compute units and 64 ROPs and also the 5500 XT and finally we have NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 6 GB model which is the most popular 
video card in Steam Survey, Steam Hardware Survey. It debuted on the same price, $279, in 2016. Let's see how much upgrade you can get from that. So, how about the performance? Well, the silent BIOS of 5600 XT on average gave us exactly the same performance as GeForce RTX 2060 Founders Edition. Both cards are slightly overclocked, so you can say they are identical in performance. However, on the plus side for 5600 XT is not only the lower price, but also the better thermals and better power consumption. We got a very nice 65 degrees with just 26% on the fans or around 800 RPM. The 5600 XT with new overclocking BIOS gave us 10% more performance with 30 watts more and it came very close to the Radeon RX 5700, only 5% below it. On the other part of the comparison, the 1660 Super is around 15% slower than the 5600 with the silent BIOS and nearly 30% with the overclocking BIOS. And finally, from the 1060, we have over 50% performance improvement. If you are on the path of upgrading your PC, the 5600 XT will be quite nice addition to it. And then, what can we say about the new MD product? If we go only on the 5600 XT with the silent BIOS, it is not a bad product as it gives you the performance of GeForce RTX 2060 on a lower price point with lower power. However, if you get the new OC BIOS for your card, you get a great addition to the graphics lineup that offers 10% higher performance than 2016 and that should be nearly 25% higher than the currently occupying the $279 slot GeForce GTX 1660 Ti with still quite nice power package and relatively good thermals and noise levels. So if you are going to buy a new card or a new system, the 5600 XT is one of our recommendation for 1080p gaming. That's it for now. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more and if you want you can support us on Patreon. Bye!